Hello and welcome to Scott Bryant's Fitness Systems. I'm just over Battersea Park. I've just, um, just done some club bell exercise and it just come to me that the, uh, the benefits and the real reason why movement is so important. So if you're not getting out in the sun, obviously you're not getting your vitamin D. And I would have thought that the park would have been packed with the news, with what's been in the news recently about uh, you know, vitamin D being low in people. So I'm over the park today, obviously in my vest top, getting some good vit the vitamin D. But movement is so important. Movement is, is the uh, non-medical drug to get you healthy. So this time last year, I wasn't feeding 100% and I had a, a gut issue. I think I had candida or something like that. And I just wasn't right. I could only walk... Uh, halfway to the park without feeling like really rough so I had to go home and uh, I couldn't lift weights for about six months so that was really getting on my nerves that I couldn't lift any weights so in the end I decided that uh, I need to start lifting weights and I need to incorporate my check study in into my health regime so I didn't take any medical drugs at all I just took some uh, alternative medicine like uh, some vitamin C, vitamin D uh, and some zinc. So I took these, med uh, these non-medications, vitamins and minerals and then I started to increase my movement slowly but surely but it took about a good six months to get back to firing on all cylinders. But it really made me think on how important uh, movement is in everybody's life so if you're not you know exercising three or four times a week then really, you know, how can you, how can you think that you're going to improve in your health and vitality? So now I can walk around the park four or five times without being tired, and I can do a 50-minute or 40-minute workout session and uh, really get some benefits from it and feel really, really great. Strength has massively increased for somebody that's the age of 50 years old. And somebody just said to me just a minute ago, which was really lovely of her, there's a local woman I always see walking her dog. And she just said to me, how old are you? And I goes, I'm 50. And she went, oh, you don't look a day over 109. No. She went, you don't look a day over uh, 21. So obviously it's working, you know, keeping lean and keeping strong and fit and in shape. And obviously you can't do it if you don't get out of the house. You can't do it if you don't go to the gym. You can't do it if you don't go over the park. And I see lots of fat people walking their dogs. And I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> your dog's fitter than you. So <laughs> isn't it about time that these people woke up and realised that, you know, it's really important to get themselves fit, not just their dogs. Oh, here comes the pigeons. The pigeons, it's about six pigeons walking towards me. <laughs> uh, so I love being over the park and it's a beautiful sunny day. We've had like two weeks of solid rain which has been horrible. Uh, so just to get out in the sun today has been a real relief and to get some vitamin D on the old skin. So what I do, uh, I just lay on my front for 20 minutes and lay on my back for 20 minutes. And then I normally go home or if I'm walking around the park, I will make sure I only do about an hour, then I go home. So I never overdo it. And a lot of people go, oh, you get cancer if you sit in the sun, but you don't, it's, it's bullshit. It depends on your skin type, and if you know what your skin type is, uh, then you know what your tolerance would be and how much uh, sun you should be getting to not overdo it on the vitamin D. But really important, you know, whatever type of movement you do, whether it's over the park, in the pool, on the treadmill, uh, you know, in the gym, you must do it. And if you're not doing it on a regular basis, then you will get fat, and you will get slow, then you will get sick because of you're not doing it. So really, really important that you uh, keep yourself fit and healthy as you age. I'm 50, I'll still be doing this when I'm 80 because I really love uh, fitness and exercise. Uh, so really find what you like doing, do 20 minutes, do 15 minutes or do 10 minutes until uh, you can increase it more and more and get more and more benefits uh, from it but you'll get an endorphin rush uh, you'll see your dress sizes or your pant sizes go down and uh, you will just feel much better in yourself if you're exercising 
on a regular basis. So movement is the drug of choice. And really, I don't understand why the doctors are not uh, prescribing this, you know, uh, anxiety. You know, I do cold showers. I don't know if you, if any of you know about cold showers, but cold showers increase the, uh, the, the good brown fat and plus it can uh, release you from anxiety. And all you do is do one minute or 60 seconds, uh, 30 seconds and build it up to three minutes if you can. I'm doing three minutes now and uh, I'm feeling really, really good from the cold showers. They really, really do work. So I've got to stop being a chicken and I need to uh, do the uh, cold baths next. So that's what I'll be doing a video on later on uh, when I've plucked up the courage enough to do it. Uh, so please comment down below, tell me what exercise that you've started doing or which exercise you've been doing for years and are you out of pain and are you getting the results that you're looking for. Uh, I really love what I do and I really, because I'm, I'm a PT obviously, personal trainer and master check practitioner in London. So if you've got any questions that need to be answered about your fitness, diet, lifestyle and exercise uh, then please comment down below. Hope you've enjoyed this video on movement is the drug of choice. I speak to you again soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.